Good luck in filler C and the box break that's happening because we are sold out in the silver and platinum bar edition. And that one is happening right now. We got, we're getting ready to rip our box 45 of 50. We're going to start with a little race action. Filler C. We got all kinds of fillers leading up to this. Noah and Craig, you guys just have regular spots. So you're you're in the break. And then we got our filler winners previously. You're in the break. might be a few more spots let me see if there's a few more spots a few more owners that's right Joe G you've got a spot that's right sorry about that okay Joe you're in Bobby C is in. Okay, so those are my two mystery ones. Okay, Bobby C. All right, so sorry about that. Okay, let's do it. Uh, bum, ba -dum. The break is happening. Bum, ba -dum. So this is our owner list. It took me a minute to kind of get this together. Two, four, six, eight. And here we go with our filler. So we'll have two winners from the filler. Shuffle seven times. Lucky number seven on your mark, get set, go. Pop Belly Rudy is looking all right. Pop Belly Rudy. <laughs> all the Easter eggs didn't do you any harm. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. What is happening here? Wow. Rudy, number one, came up. Your red jersey, Rudy, came up. And who has got second place? Jack. So, Jack, you've got some Easter goodness going on, too. You got in this thing from being in the filler. Congratulations. And that's the filler. Now we have our spot odors. That concludes filler C. Let's get to the rip. And start doing some randoming. So, everybody's going to get a digit. In the rip, a digit zero through nine to be determined randomly right now.
we're going to randomize both lists seven times a piece. Stack them up side by side. Lucky number seven. First random's done. Let's hit some platinum in this thing. I've pulled plenty of silver out of here. Ready to pull somebody a platinum $1,200 hit. All right. So that's our first random. Here comes the numbers random. Isn't it $1,200 for the platinum bar? That's what it says in the description. I think since then it's gone up in value. Platinum has actually gone up. Somebody was telling me that uh, the price was actually lower uh, by their guesstimation. All right, here we go. Seven times for an ounce of platinum. Uh, it's, it's a bar ounce of platinum. So values do change quite a bit with silver and platinum. Here we go. Lucky number seven all right so now everybody's got their digits i always see those commercials invest in gold invest in silver well that's uh, someone's getting a bar right now someone's gonna have a bar of, of silver or platinum let's find out so you can see the different digits that are owned. 1100 ounce. Oh my. 1100 ounce. Okay. All right, JMS. I think it's listed at 1200 in the description of this product. And there's five of them out of the 50 boxes made. And so that's a 10% chance that we're going to get a platinum in our break. 10% uh, chance and I've probably broken around 10 of these so that's that's what I've been saying man I'm due because I've broken like 10 of these boxes I'm ready I'm ready to pull a platinum out of here for somebody so <laughs> right if it's a if it's a the percentage of platinum or the percentage of silver i imagine has a great bearing on it and it says on the bar what percent that it is or that sort of thing <laughs> it's okay here we go <laughs> it's funny well, what do we have? Oh, it's a hot box. Oh, <laughs> it's a hot box. Oh my gosh, fire. Let's see if we can get out of here. Well, there's definitely a hit let me see if i can zoom out a little bit there we go i'm not now not struggling as hard there is a hit under there and i guess we have two hits in the break Is it platinum? Anybody know? I think this could be platinum. It's certainly different from ones that I've pulled. Oh, it's kind of sliding around in there a little bit. 
What's this? It's got like a netting. I don't know what that is. Well, this thing's kind of not secure as, as you would hope. It's silver. It's silver. All right, let's see where the number is. I got to turn the brightness down or something here. Hang on. I'm turning the brightness down. Get a lot of reflection off of it. It's hard to see the code. There's a code. Okay, that should be somewhere on this. So this is different from some of the other some of the other ones. I'm not sure for if it if it's gonna go to zero. I don't I think I'm not sure yet how this is gonna be awarded. Because most of the other ones we've seen, they have a code number right on them. And that's what we use. We don't use anything but the code number on the silver uh, as shown in the picture of the break. So this might go to random. I don't know yet. I have to look into it. I have to see. I have to determine how best to award this. Uh, because in our rules, it does say that it goes to the code. Uh on the bar but I want to look at the description of the break real quick and just see what I can see yeah that's, this is what it says in our rules for the break So I'll show this a little bit after. Let's look at the next hit. That's what our rules say. So it's kind of like, well, it's a certification digit. But it's not on the silver or platinum, but it is a certification digit. So I'm still kind of like up in the air with this. I don't know yet. Let's move on, though, for right now. And most of all the ones I've ever seen look like this. And there's a, so there's a digit right on it. And this is number three. So we have Rudy, who hits a number three. And you can see that matches this number too, certification number. It's number three. So I think this is a certification number. I think it's zero. It's just not on the bar, but it is a certification number. It seems like it might, might be the most fairest thing to give it to zero. I'm going to have to come back to this. I'm going to have to get with our team about this because it's kind of a gray area. I don't want to award it either way. And we'll see what our team says. Um, I'm going to postpone awarding that one. But congratulations. And you can see here the rules. This is actually 
I'll show show you really quickly the rules of the break and stuff, just so everybody can be on the same page about what is said. And we've never had this come up before, so it's kind of an unusual circumstance. So we take I'll take extra time to award this. And um, I do want to show the rules. So just a refreshing by who's not familiar with the rules page. Should be popping up right here. Let me see. We do have a shipwreck coin that is coming up about to rip and we've got a lot more great stuff. I want to show this here. I really think it's going to go to the certification number, but that's just that's just what I think. Because it does say certification number. And since it's not stamped on there, I think it should probably go to the certification number listed. Because there is a number listed. But I can't be 100% sure. But uh, so we're going to I'm going to postpone awarding that particular one. I just want to say congratulations to Rudy. And what is this? What's this stuff? It's a bag. OK, I guess if you wanted to put it in here, now this is interesting. Look at this. It's like a bar in there. And this has a hole in it. So maybe that that matches a diameter or something. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, that well that's that's one of the things, you know, I don't think it's on the side of the bar. I'm just going to postpone awarding it cuz I want to see what our team says about it and then maybe maybe we'll make a new rule but I think it's going to go to zero because of the certification numbers right here it's just not stamped on the thing so I mean I would I would assume zero but I don't want to award I don't want to say the wrong thing so I want to make sure our team is is on board with that I'm not missing something or not making any kind of mistake myself. And uh, way to go, Rudy. Hope. All right, so yeah, more of these things coming up. That's the first one we've had like that. That is the very first one that we've had that did not have the number stamped on it. Very unusual. And for the record, I do want you to know that the seal on this is not as secure like uh the seal on it is actually not a hundred percent sealed and that's not something we did at friendly collectibles it just came out of the thing like this so just be aware of that if you are winning this you know we haven't tampered with it it's actually not sealed a hundred percent you probably saw that when i opened up the the box 
it kind of fumbled around a little bit. I'm sure you probably saw that. I don't want to mess with it to try to show you, but it's just not sealed a hundred percent around around this. So all right, congratulations, Rudy. Let's keep it going, guys. Uh, way to go, Rudy. And we've got more great stuff around here to be ripping open. That was exciting. Something a little different. And I'll make a part two of this video. So if you're looking to find out uh, what, the, what the verdict is, uh, just use this code to search on our channel or across YouTube. And we'll have a part two. This is part one. It'll be listed as a video. And you'll see part two with the code and uh, what our team decides. All right, so we'll have that to, out as soon as possible as well. I think it's a little bit late tonight. Probably won't have it tonight. But it'll, it'll be there tomorrow for anyone wanting to find out the verdict. It will be here tomorrow. All right, so good things. Boom, ba-doom.